Hi there, my name is Alana Morley. I'm going to do my read and report, The Reason You Walk by Wab Canoe, a remarkable and inspiring memoir focusing on forgiveness and reconciliation. I appreciate the look into history, rituals, songs, and beliefs from the initial people. These are my top five um, artifacts from Wab Canoe's culture, Ojibwe. Tobacco being the first artifact, a gift of traditional tobacco is a sign of respect and may be offered when asking for help, guidance, or protection. This, is, this was surprising to me and I wasn't aware. Tobacco has a purpose of carrying thoughts and prayers to the spiritual world or the creator. <clears throat> As Canoe would say, many people ask what the pipe is for and some ask what we smoke in it. We fill it with tobacco, only tobacco. The pipe is a model of reconciliation. The bowl is feminine. It is of the earth that receives the stem. The stem is masculine. It is placed into the bowl and also grows from the earth. Each has integrity on its own. This is how we might think of reconciliation. Two dis disparate elements coming together to create something more powerful. Page 129 to 130. <clears throat> the next artifact is buffalo which I think is very remarkable as it represents respect. Bajwe people came to rely on bison for everything from food and clothing to shelter and religious worship. One of the significant turning points for myself was when he discussed about sun dancing with his father and how the pain of sun dance forces you to go outside yourself from your ego. As Canoe says, we ought to recognize that our greatest battle is not with one another, but with our pain, our problems, and our flaws. To be hurt, yet forgive. To be wrong, but forgive yourself. To depart from the world, leaving only love. This is the reason you walk. The third artifact is sage, which was used for smudging. This resonated with me as I am infatuated with the smell. It brings so much peace and relaxation to me. So this makes sense that to learn smudging encourages us to stop, slow down and become more mindful of ourselves, which would benefit all of us as we connect with the creator, improve spiritual health and become more grounded. As can you can communicates in his book, smudging is a common tradition to many initial people. They started remedies that were described in the memoir were sage, sweet grass, and cedar as they make a distinctive quantity of smoke. I have learned that smudging is a way to start the day right, clear that negative energy away. As Canoe says, I have been practicing the prayer to the ceremony because if I get them, I found myself with smudge slowly climbing over me. The fourth artifact is the war bonnet, which I thought was pivotal moment in the narrative for Canoe as it connected him to his father. It's a symbol of power and authority reserved for highly respected Native American men which is very cool to learn more on this topic as it shows that it was very much more symbolic than I realized. As Canoe says, when they brought the war bonnet down from the sky and placed it on my head, war whoops and ulations rose from around the circle. They made me a chief. So cool. During this time, Canoe stayed off the ruthless road and the rough path and says in his book, as the son of a hierarchy chief, I had always known I would someday rise to the rank, but I assumed that day was far in my future. But the enormous significance in that time caught, came to him when he was at an all time low. As Canoe would say, my community, family, and my father responded by giving me a second chance. That which was broken, they tried to make it whole again. Nadi taught not just WAB, but all of us really, that is important lesson, which was we ought to love one another and that when our hearts are broken, we ought to work hard to make them whole again. 
This rings in my head often as, let's face it, we have all experienced difficult and challenging times in our lives, some worse than others. But this message makes me sit up and listen, taking those steps for not only myself, but to help others. The beginning of a new life. The last artifact is the skull. This one for me opened my eyes and I, as I am an empath and a feeler and I'm the biggest animal lover, at first it seemed awful, <laughs> to be honest. However, I was able to see a deeper understanding through the roots and traditions of this beautiful culture. They're just simply more in tune with nature miracles of this world. As global warming and catastrophic events have occurred, for us, I think we need to take note from the indigenous tribes from all over different nations as they've clearly they have more united to the earth and the planet as a whole than we have really. As Canoe showcased in his memoir, they work jointly with nature and they are bound to all living things in such a pure form. So they see the energy from the animal. The animals are used in every form, clothing, food, energy, rituals, bone, and so on. Nothing, nothing is wasted. Everything has a magical way of working together. It's absolutely beautiful. In closing, ceremony, language, connection, commitment, endurance, and dedication played a significant part of this story. One of the best lessons that I took from this memoir and um, these incredible artifacts is that it is our duty to be the best person that we can be and that we must stand up for our beliefs. Increasing our racial sensitivity about one culture comforts us to be more thoughtful and other cultures as well. Cultivating and embracing the beauty of learning and respecting each other because one way or another, we are all connected. Thank you so much for listening and take care.